I still can't believe he's gone. One of the greatest footballers the world will ever see, Lionel Messi, in the last episode, died. Go watch that one if you missed it. And for those of the people who did watch it, it's already been months now since this happened. And, well, myself, this entire city, the entire football world is still in shock. When someone of this magnitude passes away, it doesn't just go away in a few weeks or even a few months or who knows in a few years. And I won't be able to rest until I find out who did this. That's been my job. That's been my role recently. I've been basically non-stop. When I have, haven't been having to deal with football, I've been watching the security footage, studying all the tapes, and trying to figure out what happened. Get to the bottom of who killed Lionel Messi. We'll figure it out soon enough, but until then, we gotta win some games for Leo Messi. This is a potential trouble winning season. Yes, that's right, we can actually do it. Last episode, dub in the Copa de España final. We have the semifinals of the Europa League today, and then La Liga will be coming to an end. Yeah, it's not the Champions League, we'll get that next year. So let's do the Europa League while we're in it. Here we go, Hertha Berlin taking on the Bundesliga German side. And already, a game starting with loads of injuries for some reason, which is gonna benefit us. This is leg number one, away from home. We need goals and we're going for it. Guys, I feel like <sighs> the Messi dying after that incident, bro. I've been putting everything on the line, every game doing it for Messi. It's low-key elevated my game a bit. We're going for golden boot in Europa League. We're going for a golden boot in pretty much every competition to be one of the top goal scorers in the world. Ballon d'Or will be mine next year, especially if we're scoring goals like this. Yes, sir, Dylan Davenport. Let's go. That's how you want to start a game right there, boys. Oh, my God. Little ball roll, little shot on the left foot. Glasso. Love to see it, man. That's an absolute banger right there. That's all we've been doing lately in this series. We got all the shooting stats up, so we're basically scoring from literally anywhere on the pitch. And I mean anywhere. I mean right here. Bang, boys. Let's go. 2-0. Oh, man. This is mine. This is my game right here. I've been simming every game so far this season Europa League. We were focused on La Liga this year, but now that we've made it this far, we're jumping in. We're playing them. And, oh man, this is just proven why we need to be in the Champions League. The Europa League's low-key, it's just too easy for us right now with the team that we've assembled. So dumb that Barca couldn't do it last season and qualify when I wasn't there. That's why they brought myself, and, well, Messi on. He was the coach at one point. Not anymore. So we're doing it for him. But hey, Loki hurt the Berlin. We're trying to count them out. Maybe we're doing it too early because hey, they've beaten some good teams to get to this point. And as soon as they scored that one to, to get the game one goal back, we decided, nah, bro. What? Are we actually making this a game? No, we're not. We're getting a hat trick in the 73rd minute. Literally my first ever Europa League game. And right here with Barca, we're getting a hat trick. Are you kidding me? Is it this easy? Like, is it? <laughs> Oh, man. All right, I'll take it. It's Europa League or whatever. A hat trick is a hat trick, and one more will do it. That will lead to the end of this game. 4-1. You know, I said it was going to be playing the rest of the games out, but I think we might be back to simulating after that one because are we really going to blow a four-goal lead? I don't think so, man. Game ball, well-deserved. Another hat trick. I believe it's only the second of our career. Could be wrong about that. But we will sim the second leg. Because let's be honest, we ain't losing this. And that is it. On to the final. The Europa League. So I have been trying to help out in this messy investigation. I want to get to the bottom of who killed him. I've made that my goal. And I've been working with the police in... Well, they called me in the other day and started questioning me. All right, I mean, well, I know I didn't do it, but do they think that I did it? I answered every single question they asked. I told them where I was that night, how I would never do it. Lionel Messi and I were really good friends. He's the one who brought me into Barcelona. They wrote down their answers, but they were still interrogating me with very, very, very difficult questions in. Well, I answered them all I left and I thought it was a bit strange. Me? No. It's 
can't be me. I left knowing that it wasn't, and, well, hopefully they believed me. That's the hope. And hopefully, the rightful killer will be found eventually. Here it is. La Liga coming to an end, boys. This is it. The final game will be played. We're winning the league no matter what happens. So we're going to have a bit of fun out here. Kind of sucks. We're going to be raising this trophy away from home. But, hey, it is what it is. I just want to raise this trophy nonetheless. Win La Liga. And then Europa League final is going to be up next. Crazy episode in store for you guys. We are going to actually fall behind here. Yo, 10K likes. You guys know the drill. And the next episode gets posted might not have one next week because i'm gonna be on holiday in mexico so if there's not one posted next week I'm sorry there will be one the week after but 10,000 likes and you guys will get it sooner or later what is that shot all right davenport what are you doing bro this is a final we need to win this right here man it's not a final but it's the final game of the season and i guess we actually don't need to win it but i want to win it and we're actually come on how are we struggling right here i think we've taken our foot off the gas we're just like hey we're winning the league anyway some of the players or, or not trying as hard, but I am. And, hey, if this is the only goal we score, fair enough. A tap-in. All right, we're saving the good goals for the Europa League final. Sure, that's what we're going to say right there. Save the good goals and score the crappy ones right here because that right there is what you call a crappy goal. Tap-in, but nonetheless, 1-1 one, one draw. We knew what was going to happen. Give us that La Liga trophy. Bestie, this one's for you. It's number two. We got the Copa de España. We got La Liga. It's time to raise this thing. It's time to celebrate. Another one going into my trophy collection, boys. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to win every major trophy there is in the world by the end of my career. Bruno raised that thing. Let's go. Barcelona back on top of La Liga. Going from not making the Champions League to first place in the league securing that champions league spot and oh boy is it sweet right europa league final time and we're into the stadium ready to get this game underway and i'm ready to spend my off season doing one thing figuring out who did it to Lino messi that's my plan this off season i know i'm staying with barcelona i don't have to deal with transfer talks but i may end up finding out who did it sooner than expected because walking into the game before the match i got a text message and it was an address and all that it said was meet here after the final if you want to figure out who did it put my phone away and well will i do it we got a final to play and we're gonna find out who the killer is versus Barcelona in the Europa League final. Here is our starting 11, and we're going to check out Arsenal's. Oh, man, what a matchup this will be. It is time. They got some decent players, but hey, does their starting 11 really compare to ours? I don't think so. Into the match. This one is going to be a big one, and Arsenal's no joke. This is a team that deserves to be in the Champions League as well. Oh, my God. Fabinho from literally five kilometers away. What a goal, bro. Can we get one more? I mean, dude, I, I thought this, is, this isn't the old Arsenal. This is, a, this is a really good Arsenal team right here. Fabinho drives it through, and we have ourselves a match, boys. They were just going from everywhere on the pitch. I swear, they weren't scared to shoot from anywhere. Ter Stegen, though, I think after conceding that first goal, was ready for anything. And I'm trying to get this thing back level drawing a foul send me to the spot i want to take this free kick no they give it to bruno bruno fernandez 23rd minute to equalize he does from a free kick oh my god every goal that's being scored right now is just a crazy long shot that one from bruno i mean to score that in a final man oh my goodness the technique the composure the dip and he gets a touch there, the keeper, but nothing doing. Arsenal back on it. This game was a madness, boys, an absolute madness. Second half, and it was still Arsenal. You would have thought we'd been down 5-0 watching all the shots that Arsenal took. And finally, boys, we go for it in the 58th minute. 
Davenport with a golazo. Davenport with what could be a game winner. 30 minutes remain. Right here, weak foot finesse shot, and it goes right around the keeper. One more look on what would be the game winner. Yes, that's right, I said game winner. Barca 2-1, treble complete. La Liga, Cobre España, and now the Europa League. And we won it on one final shot. And for the final time this season, let's raise our final trophy. There it is, Europa League and Celebration in the locker room, but little time to celebrate for me. I had the phone number, I had the address, I was already on my way there. Before we show you what happened, here's what happened this season. We destroyed it in every competition. If we don't win Ballon d'Or next year, I'm actually going to be shocked. Barcelona, an incredible year. And now, it's time. I didn't tell anyone I was going here, which might have been a mistake. What was I being led to? This is dangerous, man. This is someone who took out one of the greatest footballers of all time. What am, what am I getting myself into? I brought some protection, so if things do turn for the worst, I'm going to be ready. But the house was... I was wondering if, if this was the right place. No trespassing. Cameras operate this area. This is all a, a bit weird, and I'm a bit nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm being watched 100%. The person knows I'm coming. I knocked on the door and it was wide open, so I just walked right in. And this was one of the strangest houses I've seen. Security cameras feeding to Lionel Messi's house. A bunch of tapes, and you could tell whoever did this was a true professional. Yes, that's right. They had something behind this, a reason, a motive, all the cameras everywhere. The Barcelona training room, what were they doing looking in there? And then I heard a peep in the other room. I turned around, walked in, and I dropped. And there, right in front of my eyes, it was him. All along. Cristiano Ronaldo. He'd been the one. He'd led me to this point. He was the killer. And I said to him, Cristiano, why did you do this, man? Why would you do this? It didn't have to go down like this. But apparently, it did. And just like that, I was held at gunpoint by none other than CR7. And he told me, although it was him, I was going to be the one taking all the blame. He'd been working tirelessly to alter the footage to make it look like it was me. And I told him they'd never believe him, but he was confident that I would be the one taking the blame. He would be off home free. Will this be the end of Dylan Davenport as we know him? <laughs>